I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to sketch graph of a function using our knowledge about the asymptotes and the first derivative. The question here is sketch the graph of the function f of x equals to x plus 1 over x. If you analyze you find that this is a rational function where the degree of numerator is one more than that of denominator. You could write this function f of x as, let me rewrite this, it is x plus 1 over x. If you take x common, what do you get? You get x, x square plus 1. Since the degree of numerator is 1 higher, we expect oblique asymptote, right? So, as far as the asymptotes are concerned, first we get oblique asymptote. And the equation of oblique asymptote is, when you divide, you get this expression, x plus something, right? So if x is approaching infinity, a large number, in that case, the function approaches x, right? So y equals to x is the equation of the oblique asymptote. Now, let us also consider how does the function approach the line y equals to x. Really speaking, we are trying to understand whether the function approaches y equals to x from above or from below, right? So that is what we'll try to understand now. So what we have got by now is that we have an oblique asymptote y equals to x. So let me sketch this line y equals to x. So it goes through origin and that's the line y equals to x. To find the behavior at infinity, if x is approaching a large number plus infinity, in that case, f of x will be equal to x plus, plus something, right? 1 over large number, 1 over large number. So when we say plus infinity, we could actually take a value, for example, if x approaches 100, right? Let's say 100 then be 100 plus a large number, which is, let us say, 1 over 100, right? So it is more than x, do you see, plus something positive, right? Therefore, it is approaching from the top. So we say this is approaching from above when we are approaching plus infinity. On the other hand, if x is approaching, let us say, negative 100, that means negative infinity on this side, in that case, the expression will be f of x will be negative 100 plus 1 over negative 100. It becomes more negative, right? In previous case, it was f of x, whatever f of x is, it was 100 plus 1 over 100. We could have written 100 here also. Anyway, so what we see here, that it approaches from below. So that is what is the behavior near the asymptote as x approaches positive or negative infinity correct? So, so this is the first part and that is what we call analysis of the graph of the function near the asymptote and this time we considered oblique asymptote. Now let us consider the other asymptote, x could be 0, that leads to vertical asymptote. Equation of vertical asymptote will be x equals to 0, right, which is origin itself. So x equals to 0 is our vertical asymptote. So let me draw a dotted line here indicating that as our vertical asymptote. So that is it. Now let us understand behavior of the graph of the function near vertical asymptote that is near 0. So we'll again analyze limit of the function as x approaches 0 from negative side and limit of the function as x approaches 0 from positive side. Negative means left, right? So if I substitute a small value close to 0, let's say point zero 0.01 but negative sign, that would be negative, right? So if I write negative here, both will be negative terms. Since both will be negative, we see 
that f of x approaches negative infinity, right? 1 over a small number will always be a very large value. Since we are checking for a negative value, it is going to approach towards a negative infinity, right? On the other hand, if I am approaching from the right side, let us say point 1, if I write point 1 here, I get point 1 plus 1 divided by point 1, which is kind of 10.1, right? So, which is positive value. So, if you are approaching from the positive side, then the graph of the function approaches positive infinity, right? So, this approaches positive infinity. So, the behavior near the asymptote, vertical asymptote is kind of as shown, right? So, that is how we get behavior near the asymptote. Now, let us find the derivative of the function, analyze the derivative and look for local maximum or minimum. So, for that, let me find the first derivative of the function. So, f prime x is equals to derivative of x is 1 and derivative of 1 over x is minus 1 over x squared, correct? So, that is f prime x. Now, to find the critical numbers, the derivative should be either 0 or infinite or does not exist. That means critical numbers are when f prime x is either equal to 0 or it does not exist. That is 1 over 0, right? So, we get two critical numbers from here, rather 3. f of x is 0 if 1 over x square is 1. So, 1 minus 1 will be 0, right? That is possible at x equals to plus minus 1. So, that gives us 0. And if x is equals to 0, in that case, we get f prime x as undefined. So, we have these three critical numbers. Let us analyze these critical numbers and find whether we have local maximum or minimum at these points or not. So, the three numbers which we are checking are 0, plus 1, and minus 1. So, if you analyze f prime x, the first derivative, if I substitute a test point, let us say minus 2. In that case, in the derivative, 1 minus 1 over minus 2 square means 1 over 4 will get positive value, right? So, we get a positive value. Similarly, if I substitute 2, then also we get 1 minus 1 over 4, we'll get a positive value, right? So, in both these cases, in the interval from minus infinity to minus 1, the graph of the function will be increasing, right? So, this will be increasing. So, from here to infinity also, graph of the function will be increasing. If we check a value which is between minus 1 and 1 and 0. For example, if I check a value which is minus half or plus half, in that case, what do we get? Minus 1 over 1 over 2 square means 1 minus 4. We get a negative value. So, in both these cases, we get negative value. So, that means the rate of change is decreasing, right? So, we have decreasing rate of change. From this rate of change, what we notice is that the local maximum exists at minus 1. So, that is maximum, right? So, we have local maximum. And then here we have local minimum at plus 1, correct? So, at plus 1, we expect a local minimum and at minus 1, we expect local maximum. Do you see that? At 0, there is neither maximum nor minimum, as from either side, the function is decreasing, right? So, there is no maximum minimum at that point. So, now, let us find the value of the function at minus 1 and plus 1, correct? So, if I substitute 1 here, f of 1 is equals to 1 plus 1 over 1, which is 2 and f of minus 1 will be minus 1 plus 1 over minus 1, which is minus 2. So, from here, we get local value at minus 1 
this line will be minus 1 but the value of the function is minus 2 so we have at minus 1 a maximum which will be kind of minus 2 right so let me take uh, 1 as this point and minus 1 here okay this is minus 1 and this is 1 for us so let us say at this point the value is 2 right so the graph of the function can now be sketched using these values and we could sketch the graph as because we know the behavior it is approaching the line as we approach infinity minus side so we could say that the graph of the function is kind of like this with local maximum at this point and on this side it is approaching this and kind of like this right so that becomes the graph of the function where these are our local maximum and local minimum the value of the maximum point is 2 value of minimum point is minus 2 and they happen at plus and minus 1 correct so that is how we can actually sketch the graph of the function f of x equals to x plus 1 over x I hope that helps you to understand how we figure out the asymptotes equation of asymptotes behavior near the asymptotes and we can use our knowledge of first derivative to find local maximum or minimum and sketch the graph. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.